Hey everyone, welcome to my library. Actually, this is my bedroom. <laughs> um, so both me and my husband got very exciting packages today. Um, I got an eBay mystery box and he got a new Xbox. <laughs> um, so anyways, he's busy playing that downstairs. So I decided to bring it up here um, to just lessen the noise, hopefully. Um, and the lighting is pretty good, actually. I'm facing a really broad window, so I'm hoping that brings in a lot of natural light. But anyway, so yes, I ordered this eBay box. Um, so I've been seeing, obviously, a lot of historical romance mystery box unboxings. And <clears throat> I decided I have way too many <laughs> historical romances from that um, big haul I did that I started my channel with. And so instead, I decided to do something a little different, and I got a box of 20 historical fiction mystery books for $15. So yeah, less than a dollar each. And it's from a store called uh, Two Buck Books in Aurora, Colorado. So anyways, um, they had like a little section where you could put what you prefer. So I told them that I love World War II, Civil War, historical fiction books with a strong romantic element if possible. And I also love big books. I think those were all the stipulations I had. So anyways, <laughs> we're gonna see how this goes. And I'm actually, I'm gonna be looking up on Goodreads these books to see you know, what their ratings are and everything too as I go. Let's get going. <laughs> Oh my goodness, okay, <laughs> I already see one. This is so exciting, I am like so excited. Okay, so this is The Lawless by John Jakes. And it's funny because um, I love John Jakes. I've actually read two of his novels this year, North and South, and then the second one in that trilogy, I can't remember what it's called. Um, but anyways, they were great. And um, it looks like this one's part of the Kent Family Chronicles. And I own the first one of this. It's called The Bastard, and it follows a family called the Kent family. Um, each book is, I think, a, a new generation, so it kind of follows over an extended amount of time. The first one starts with um, the American Revolution, I believe, and it goes from there. So from the cover, look at this cover, by the way. Like, heck yeah, like, look at that. Um, this looks like it might be a Western. Let me read it. So it follows like maybe a guy, so it's a Gideon who is the son falls in love with Lewis's widow, like his dad's widow, like his mother-in-law. I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> but anyways, yes, a hot blooded epic of a nation caught in a landslide of glitter and greed and the generation that lived and loved under the shadow of the lawless. Yeah, that sounds really good. Let's see what it is on Goodreads. 4.13, that is not bad. Okay, cool. So here's this one. I'm just picking these at random and I kind of don't want to look. So anyways, wow. Okay, this one's like a super short one. Um, Luke Short, The Deserters. Also a like Western, it looks like, let's see. A driving action Western novel by the greatest of them all, Luke Short. Okay, I don't know if I'm as interested in this one. It sounds like it's more like Western adventure, like there's no romance from what it sounds like, um, but it is super short, so I could commit to it. <laughs> Let's see what it's like on Goodreads. It has only 44 ratings on Goodreads, but it's rated a 3.95, so, yeah, we'll put this in the maybe pile. I don't know about that one. Okay. <laughs> I'm just laughing at all these like vintage covers. I love it. Um, okay, this one is The no Noble Outlaw by Matt Braun. The guns of Wes Harden had spilled a lot of blood. He had to use them just to stay alive. Okay, so this sounds like a revenge story kind of. <laughs> also iffy about this one. Um, okay, let's see. 3.94 with 34 ratings. <laughs> so some of these are not very well um, read. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, random. Okay, let's see. Picking another one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Another, like, dude with a gun. <laughs> the Dawn of Fury. If you like Louis L'Amour, you'll love Ralph Compton. I have never read Louis L'Amour. I like Rut Western somewhat. I mean, I liked Larry McMurtry. So another, like, revenge story. Um, Civil War, so that's cool. Let's see. Okay, 4.10 with 429 ratings. So that's a little better. <laughs> okay, so this one is going right here. Okay, next. Um, April Morning by Howard Fast. I know I've heard of Howard Fast. I believe he wrote The Immigrants, which is on my want to read list. Um, but this one is a short one. So it's like following a um, American Revolution like battle. So it's following the Battle of Lex Lexington. Ooh, this one has such a bad rating. <laughs> 3.48. So no to this one, just no. <laughs> I'm just dying at all these tiny books that they have. It's fine said I wanted long books, but here we are. Oh, this looks kind of cute. Young Princess by Rose Wilder Lane, daughter of the creator of Little House on the Prairie. That's cool. Um, an enduring novel of love and courage in the stirring days of America's frontier past. And I guess it's also a film special that's based on this. Okay, not bad. 3.96 with 3,340 ratings. Young adult, children's. Okay, so yeah, so it's more like a children's story, but that's okay. Let's keep going. <laughs> this box is crazy. Another tiny book. <laughs> I'm kind of sad about these. It's okay, it's okay. The Wolf is My Brother. <laughs> I'm sorry. The Wolf is My Brother by Chad Oliver. An oh, this one has red sprayed edges, so that's kind of cool. And it's very vintage. I love that. Let's see. <laughs> okay, so it has a 4.25 rating, but it only has 12 ratings. Another super unread one. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Another short book. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. The Appaloosa by Robert McLeod. M MacLeod. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that last name, but kind of kind of cute cover. I like the the couple in the cover. An unforgettable story. Now a towering mo motion picture. Oh, that's exciting. This is the great Western novel you've been hearing about. The smashing story of three people and a marv marvelous horse. <laughs> okay, cool. So this is like a horse novel. <laughs> I don't think so. Not for me. Not for me. And not very well read either on, like, no one's really rated it. 22 ratings on Goodreads, so. Yeah. All right, all right. I think this is maybe the last thin novel. <laughs> Look at this cover. <laughs> Look at the back. Oh my goodness. Carrie's Vengeance by Irving A. Greenfield. The man he had sworn to kill was his own father. <laughs> Pulling a Star Wars theme there. I can't find this on Goodreads. What the heck? This isn't on Goodreads. That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> that would be interesting to read just because it's not rated. Interesting. Okay, here we go. Um, This one's interesting. The Big Sky by A.B. Guthrie Jr., Pulitzer Prize winning author of The Way West. The towering novel of one unforgettable hero on America's wild frontier. Oh, hey, there we go. There's a little romance in there. I can sense it and from the cover, obviously, too. So let's see. Hey, here we go, finally. <laughs> um, okay, so this one has a 4.02 with 4,000. 311 ratings 
and um, I guess it's the first one in the series, and then the second one is the one that won the Pulitzer Prize. I mean, I could be down for this. I could be down for this. Okay. <laughs> Desert Solitaire, A Season in the Wilderness, Edward Abbey, A Celebration of the Beauty of Living in a Harsh and Hostile Land. I have no idea what this is about. Is this like a nonfiction? Um, let's see. Okay, nonfiction. Cancelled. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay. Zane Gray. <laughs> you guys are like, what did she order? <laughs> I don't think I said I like westerns, but apparently, no, I definitely didn't. I said I liked World War II and Civil War. Whatever. Um, Zane Grey, Twin Sombreros. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so funny. Okay. Um, Vengeance at, su at Sundown by Larry D. Sweezy. Um, a Lucasfilm Western. This only has 16 ratings. Oh no. <laughs> and it's a 3.69. So yeah. <laughs> you guys, my nope pile is pretty big. I kind of feel bad, but I mean, this literally was $15 and I just spent $15 on one book the other day. So like, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Buchanan's Stage Line by Jonas Ward. Buchanan drove hard through hell to save a friend. Look how adventurous that cover is. <laughs> I'm gonna guess this has like no ratings. <laughs> yeah, six ratings, 3.67. Nope. Okay. Code of the Mountain Man by William W. Johnstone. So yeah, sounds like another like revenge western book. <laughs> Let's see what this is all about. It's eight in a series. Oh, this is more well read. Okay. 662 ratings, 4.38. Not bad. Not bad. But still, not appealing to me <laughs> at all. Ah, <laughs> uh, I just want one book, like one book that, I mean, I'm kind of excited by, I mean, I am really excited about this one, but it's the seventh in a series, so that kind of sucks. But maybe I'll read The Bastard just for the heck of it to like commemorate this box. This one sounds um, intriguing, but I'm worried it's gonna be problematic. So yeah, those are the two I'm most excited about. This one sounds like decent, but it's like super short and it's kind of a children's like novella. So I'm kind of like whatever about it. And then all the other ones are like, not for me, sis. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Ooh, <laughs> guys, I just, this is exciting because I think I just broke the curse. Um, MacLeon by Lola Burford, a turbulent novel of flaming love and uncontrollable passion, dashing, dramatic, romantic, and highly sexed. <laughs> what? Who says highly sexed? Like, what the heck does that even mean? <laughs> but this cover is great. <laughs> I love it. Thank the book Mystery Box Gods that we got this one. Okay. And then we read the back. <laughs> a love affair that began with rape and gave birth to an epic passion. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. I'm dying at that plot. It sounds super sketch. <gasps> ah! <laughs> you guys. This is the lowest rating I've ever seen. A 2.81. And only 26 ratings though. Honestly, I'd be tempted to just read it and see what kind of wreck this is. 
I don't know. That's interesting. That's interesting. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> okay, another uh, Western. Here we go. Hangman's Territory by Jack M. Bickham. The town had a shooting jury and a hanging judge. Literally two ratings. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. We're good. <laughs> okay. Um, the Day of the Cattleman uh, by Ernest Staples Osgood. Oh, interesting. Someone has like marked this up. Like it's like they had to read it for school or something. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be like a nonfiction. Nah, nah. <laughs> okay, we're down to two books left. Two books. <laughs> this has kind of been like a disaster of an unboxing. <laughs> but that's okay. I forgive them. It was only $15. Okay. Um, the Border Gidon, 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 I don't know how to say that, The Border Gidon, um, by Gordon D. Sheriffs, I'm struggling now, 3.0, oh no, <laughs> with three ratings, yikes, last book guys, <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. I see a couple kissing, which is an improvement. It, it's right there. If you can kind of see it. Oh my goodness. Okay. The Northern Light by AJ Crown. A, this looks like a very old book. So that's kind of cool. Henry Page of the Northern Light is a man dedicated to humanity and its deepest, most important values. He is also a man tempted, tortured by guilty love, a man beset by powerful enemies. But above all, he is a figure of indomitable courage, a man fighting single-handedly for his beliefs against a world of savage and ruthless materialism. 3.89 with 237 ratings. Okay, but that's it, guys. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this unboxing was kind of a mess, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I got some super interesting books here. Um, these are definitely all the books I will be uh, giving back to half price books, probably, <laughs> um, if they'll take them, or someone else. I don't know. They're just... They're just not my type of book, obviously. Like, I just don't want just a straight up Western. It has to have something else in there, like a romance or, you know, historical element of some kind. So that's why those aren't really that appealing to me. And then um, we've got these five that were like decent uh, right here. So, the Lawless is definitely the one I'm most excited about. I really like John Jakes and um, yeah, this book sounds pretty good, pretty good. Um, and then the other four are uh, somewhat, like they have at least a romantic element in them. Um, I'm honestly like kind of intrigued by this one because it's probably a mess, but it just sounds like so interesting. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that was my little unboxing for you guys. Um, you'll have to let me know if you have read any of these books and if you think I made the right call or if I didn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, with that being said, please like and comment. I reply to every single comment and I would love for you guys to also subscribe if you want to see more from me and I will see you guys in another video. Bye. <laughs>